as a member of the drafting committee of the basic law, can you tell us why and in what kind of situation this basic law was drafted 30 years ago? The basic law is a national law which particularly encapsulates the concept of one country, two systems, and the arrangement between the central government and the local government in the implementation of it uh, in the Hong Kong SAR. Drafting was between 1st July 1985 and 4th of April 1990. It's taken four years and 10 months. The purpose of the basic law uh, is to enunciate uh, what is the content uh, and how it, what is the function of uh, the mechanism uh, that enable Hong Kong to um, operate under one country, two systems. It must be a complicated process. How has it been implemented? The uh, economic systems, it has worked very well. Uh, as I said, uh, we became the freest economy in the world until 2020, and Hong Kong was actually uh, one of the international centers in the world. Uh, the rights and freedom side was doing very well uh, because uh, it is also recognized as one of the freest places uh, in Asia. What was the most difficult or controversial part? The most controversial bit uh, is the interpretation of the basic law. In Hong Kong, we are given the uh, Court of Final Appeal. So most uh, people in the legal sector believe that the Court of Final Appeal should have final say in everything according to their sort of common law tradition. And then uh, that includes the interpretation of the basic law. But then, on the one hand, you have the final right of interpretation in the uh, standing committee, and then you have the court of final appeal. How are you going to resolve that? The courts in Hong Kong can interpret the basic law. Uh, articles uh, which concern the high degree of autonomy, you can freely interpret. But articles, which concern central and local relationship and the uh, uh, power of the central government, then you have to go to the standing committee and ask for an interpretation before you can make your final judgment. And if an interpretation is made, then you have to follow it. It becomes absolutely binding. Can you tell us the challenges now? Everybody's looking at two system, the separate uh, capitalistic system and ignoring the fact that the central government has a lot of power under the Chinese constitution and the basic law to supervise what's going on in Hong Kong. Before reunification, UK is very friendly. I mean, they want to make money here. They don't want anybody to make trouble. So uh, America is a friendly state. Nobody get Hong Kong into a political uh, strife before the reunification. But once you have this conflict between China and US, Hong Kong will definitely uh, be the eye of the storm. There shouldn't be any doubt whatsoever.